on this screen besides importing pictures is this little window that underneath it has these small edit buttons down here. These are quick edit buttons that let you do just very the very simplest of things to your pictures. Best thing you can do is if you're going to have a, a slideshow that's really important to you and you've got some pictures that need to have some changes done to them is to do them in some type of an exported or a, a separate program something like Photoshop Elements for example. Um, in our case though I'm going to show you at least what these buttons will do. Let's say for example uh, we'll click on one of these pictures here. Let's click on this one. And you can see that what we have underneath is we've got a color correct levels button first of all. If I click on that, it will attempt to come up and change the exposure of the picture to make it look better. Notice that once I've clicked on that button, the button stays pressed in. And over on the timeline, I now have a small editing indicator at the bottom of the picture to say that this program, this actually has been edited. If I decide to make to change my mind and I don't want this effect, I can just go back to the button, click it again, and that turns it off. And you can do that any time during the show. I'm going to go ahead and leave that one on. Another thing you see here is that if we've got a little girl with red eye, in this case this is Bailey, I can come over to the red eye reduction, the correct red eye button. Go ahead and click it, and you can see that it instantly quickly uh, changes uh, her red eye to just normalize there. Again, we can turn this off if we don't want it, and again it puts a little editing icon at the bottom. These other two buttons here, it's probably pretty obvious, is that they are rotation buttons. They'll either rotate our picture 90 degrees left or 90 degrees right. We come over to this picture here. This one obviously needs to be rotated to the left, and so we can come down and click it, and it will do just that it'll rotate it to the left. Now the final thing that we're going to look at on this screen is the edit button itself. One of the things you're going to notice when you start working with photo with uh, photo story is that there's multiple places to do the same thing. Even though we have these editing buttons out here, if we click on this edit button here, it will bring up a little bit more of a sophisticated, although still very simple, editing screen. Notice we've got tabs at the top. We've got rotate and crop, we've got auto fix, and we have add effects. Now let's go ahead and start with the middle one, auto fix. And the only reason I'm going to do that is because I want to show you here that we have the same features here that we had outside on our buttons. In fact, we have, we have a little bit more. Notice we've got correct contrast, correct color levels. This is very similar to sort of the auto fix button that we saw outside. And we can turn these off and on as we want to. And I think I'll just leave that little color correct levels on. It looks pretty good there. They also We also have the correct, the correct red eye option in here. And this is exactly the same one that we see out here on the main program. Okay, just a little bit more in here then. As we make these changes, we can always click Reset to reset our picture. Or, in this case, I'm just going to leave that and we're going to go on to the Crop and Rotate. Or, yeah, the Crop and Rotate uh, tab. Now, a couple things here. We've already rotated this picture. Notice that we have these Rotate buttons here. Again, these are exactly the same buttons as we see out here. They're just in a different place. What we do have that's different here, though, is we've got a Crop. Now, something to keep in mind about cropping. Notice that if we click on the crop check mark there, we then get a crop box on the screen, and I'm just dragging it around on the screen right now. Notice on the edge of it, we have little tiny black squares we call handles. So, if I wanted to crop this picture, the basic way I would do it is to click and drag out these handles to make the box bigger. Now, here's something you're going to notice as you do that. Photo Story 3 only lets you crop to the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. And what I'm talking about here is the fact that this box will only let you drag out to a very specific uh, proportionate size. So you can he see here, for example, that as I drag this out, I cannot drag it out so that this picture fits exactly inside this box. It's wide and it's tall. This is the 4 
to 3 size, or the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. The reason they use this size is because this is the size of a standard television set, and they assume that at some point you might want to play this on TV. Now, in modern times, we know also that um, our television sets are coming out in lots of different sizes now. We've got the, the 16 to 9 widescreen uh, aspect ratio, and we also have some high-definition television aspect ratios. But the point is, you're stuck with this size right here. Now, the quandary it brings up is this. Uh, and this particular picture is a great example. Let's say that I do want to crop this picture. Okay. Well, I would have a choice of making the box small and cropping it so that there is no black around any of the edges. But you can see that if I do that in this case, I'm going to be cropping it down quite a bit and excluding quite a bit of the picture. Now, maybe this is what you want, but let's just say it's not. Well, the only choice you have in that case is to drag this out so that the black borders are still included. And, you know, some people are bothered by this. Some people are bothered by the fact that the slide that you end up with, here's your picture, and then you have black around the edges. I guess the thing for me is to keep in mind is that when you're displaying this on a television or even on the computer screen, the background is black anyway, and this picture will sort of seem to float on that background, and so I am not so bothered by these black edges. But if you are, it just means you're going to have to do a little bit tighter cropping as you get this picture ready. And we'll go ahead and do something like that just for fun. Okay? And then finally, inside this box here, we've got Add Effect. Add Effect is simply a list of special effects that you can add to a picture. Things like, you know, here's Diffuse Glow. It'll take a second for it to happen here. Kind of a ghosty looking effect. Uh, here's Chalk and Charcoal. Again, it's kind of an artsy effect here. Um, you know, there's lots of other ones here. The one that probably gets used the most, at least in my household, is the sepia. And this just simply gives us the effect of the old sepia tone pictures, which is kind of cool. We can, we can make the change in the effects, and then we can click this checkbox if we want to apply the selected effect to all the pictures of our story. So we don't have to go into each picture to do this. We can do it simply... Uh, once on a picture and then check this to make it apply to the rest of them. Now I'm going to turn off the effects here. I'm going to click on the drop down and choose none uh, just to bring this back picture back up the way it was. Now once you're done editing with this window, if you go to close you'll notice right off the bat the little window is going to pop up that says do you want to save your changes. The fact is is that any changes you do here have to be saved before you can continue on. Now again remember you're not changing the original picture you're just changing the picture inside this show. If you click on save it will save your changes and then you can either click to the next picture in the slideshow or you can come over and click close which will take you back to the main timeline and you can see here again that once I've been in editing a picture inside the edit button here you'll notice that we st we have our little editing icon underneath that picture now before we leave this screen I want you to notice that we do have an option that says remove black borders right here this kinda goes back to what I was talking about a, a few seconds ago if we click on this, it's going to open up a window that's similar to our cropping window. It's a little bit different though, and, and basically here's how it works. Is that Photo Story would go through and attempt to take out all the black lines itself around the picture if you say yes to all um, and, and then get out of this window. It would go through and it would crop everything. This shows you the before and this shows you the after. Now, the thing about this is that you have to keep in mind is that, you know, in this case it did a pretty good job of cropping. You can see here this is a pretty good crop, but you're going to run into some situations. In fact, let me get out of this window and show you here, for example, on, uh, let's try this sunset here and see how it crops. Okay, you can see in this case, now well, let's see here, let me try that again. Go over here. And I think it's going to make me go through my entire show. Let's see. 
yep, it's going to make me go through the entire show. So we'll say no. I want to forward up here until we get to another picture that is going to be a little bit worse crop. Now, here's a perfect example. This would be the automatic crop that it's going to do. Look at look at what it does. So the the whole thing with this little remove black borders is that it could just as easily be called the automatic crop feature. And the problem is the cropping it attempts to do, although automated, isn't always correct. So my suggestion is, is that you avoid this window and that you simply go in and through edit, you crop pictures yourself in whatever way you want to crop them. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave this window. And we pretty much covered everything on this window now. We've got our timeline, importing pictures, we talked about editing here. Next module, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about adding titles to our slides.